If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Let us confess our sin to God, who is faithful and just, and who has promised to forgive our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Most merciful God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved one another in deed and in truth. In your compassion, forgive our sin and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in the newness of life, through Jesus Christ, our light and our truth. Amen. With joy I proclaim to you that Almighty God, rich in mercy, abundant in love, forgives you all your sin and grants you newness of life in Christ Jesus. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. In the name of God, the Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Shadrach, and Abednego, protect all your servants who are in harm's way. Strengthen our trust in you. Guide us to establish places where all people can practice their faith without fear. In your holy and precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Daniel. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the door of the furnace of blazing fire and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out from the fire 
and the straps, the prefects, the governors, and the king's counselors gathered together and saw that the fire had not had any power over the, bo over the bodies of those men. The hair of their heads was not singed, their tunics were not harmed, and not even the smell of fire came from them. Nebuchadnezzar said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the king's command and yielded up their bodies rather than serve and worship any god except their own. Therefore I make a decree, any people, nation, or language that utters blasphemy against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be torn limb from limb and their houses laid in ruins. For there is no other god who is able to deliver in this way. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So, in today's reading... Not everybody's getting along, and we're looking at a little cool and grace under real fire here. So I guess the question today is, is maybe what we're dealing with in our country. When we so many people seem to be either here or there, you have to try to find a way to sort of find some harmony, or at least kind of get along so that we can go ahead. So how do we do that? How do we, how do we live with people with whom we don't always see uh, and agree. I think uh, sometimes it boils down to healthy connections. Mm -hmm. That, you know, you, you both have boundaries that you say, I, I don't agree with you, but I can still maintain some sort of relationship with you. It doesn't have to be a personal relationship, but it could be some sort of contact. You know, be kind to each other on the street. Uh, but you don't have to have some sort of... Uh, real in-depth relationship but it's still a connection to that person I think the ability to listen to someone else uh, not to be judgmental but just to open your ears and to listen to what their opinion is uh, I think that can go a long way the phrase uh, tell me more is a really powerful phrase to be open to, to learning and I guess checking your own assumptions and, and just being open to, like, like Vincent and Jason said, listening and being able to, to be open. Uh, I mean, I think it's, you know, we're bigger than the things that divide us. And so you have to see and value the community and everyone. Uh, and I think that's a pretty, pretty simple way to go about it. I also think you need to put aside stereotypes. It's kind of funny. Um, we're talking about this today because I watched, I don't watch YouTube very often, but saw a great YouTube video yesterday about some discussions that started between two groups of women, uh, one from Alabama and one from California. California after the last presidential election and how they have formed a group to begin that dialogue about major differences, but being able to do that in a civil and reasonable manner. And so... It was a really good YouTube video and um, would certainly recommend it to anybody to watch. You need to accept the fact that not everyone's going to agree with you, and it's okay that not everyone's going to agree with you, but if you, you want to have your own, own opinion, that is your right, and if someone else wants to have their own opinion, that's their right. And kind of accepting that as a whole community is essential into Kind of getting along and you know living harm a little more harmoniously uh -huh. this is a great answer and nobody repeated they're all different i would just add that there's somebody i really really disagree with I just ultimately try to see them as a child of god sometimes that helps sometimes <laughs> that helps to show that we have that commonality that we are all part, part of creation that we are part of of god's family thanks be to god Amen. Amen. The day you gave us, Lord, has ended. The darkness falls at your behest. To you our morning hymns ascend. They shall hallowed now our rest. So be it, Lord, your round shall never like earth's broad embers pass away. But stand and grow and rule forever till all your creatures know.
us pray. Lord, behold our family here assembled. We thank you for this place in which we dwell, for the love that unites us, for the peace accorded us this day, for the hope with which we expect tomorrow, for the health, the work, the food, and the bright skies that make our lives delightful, for our friends in all parts of the world, of the earth. We pray now for those we name in our hearts and on our lips. For all these things, we pray in your holy and precious name. Amen. Amen. Receive this blessing. Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Amen.